Here at the Birthday Party Project, we bring joy and magic to children experiencing homelessness. Every single month, we throw a big themed birthday bash, whether it is a county fair theme or it's Monster Mash with DJs. We want kids and families to experience something that they've never experienced before. We like to say that our parties are so much more than a celebration, that they are a loud exclamation point that children matter. On your birthday, it's a very important thing to know that people are out there and supporting you. When I was in the homeless shelter, being a bit older than most kids who were there, I really understood the gravity of the situation. They give me a reason to keep going and try to make something out of myself bigger than what I've always known. I went from being homeless to studying computer science at Southern Methodist University. So much of innovation happens at the ground level. When we start to impact our community, that's where the change really happens. And then it starts to build and grow from there. And how amazing is it that Toyota recognizes that too? I am proof that saying yes can create ripple effects far beyond our imaginations. And I'm so grateful for that. A couple of you probably need some tissues for that tearjerker video. Rye, let's give uh, that a round of applause. <laughs> I hadn't seen that yet. It was beautiful. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alicia Laventure. I'm a local journalist here uh, in DFW, and I am so pleased this evening to be speaking with Paige Chenault, this year's Mother of Invention. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank and, you so I mean, much. what an amazing concept the birthday party project, sort of honoring children, homeless children, with a birthday party. And it's something, such a simple concept, but the impact we see is, is far beyond simple. So I've actually had the pleasure of volunteering at one of these yes. events. So I was so excited when I found out I would be speaking with you tonight. And I just wanna start from the very beginning, understanding how you came up with this concept of honoring, of celebrating children who are homeless with a birthday party. Absolutely, so um, I actually was a wedding planner here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for about a decade. Wow. I had the privilege of watching the most significant of celebrations unfold. And there's such magic in those moments when people come together to celebrate one another. I remember I was pregnant with my daughter Lizzie who was on this video and I was on an airplane reading a magazine article about kids birthday parties so excited about using my gifts and talents my resources to throw her the best birthday parties <laughs> ever and so as I'm sitting here flipping through this magazine looking at all these images of birthday parties I put that one down and I pick up another article and uh, truly as soon as I open the magazine this image of a little boy just smacks me in the face I was truly just frozen in that moment, and this, I, um, these words came over me, what about him? What about that image made you feel that way? So there's this little boy in Haiti, and he's standing in the middle of a dirty and crowded street, and there are people in the background of this image, and yet no one seemed to notice him, and it, he looked all alone in this world, and I just thought, someone has got to do something about this. I mean, here I am, I plan parties for a living. Someone has got to find a way to celebrate children that would otherwise not feel celebrated. And so that's really where the rumblings wow. began. And I mean, worlds apart too, but yet you're able to make that connection between your child and a child that you don't even know. So that's amazing. Let's talk about exactly how the birthday party project works. What goes into these parties? Absolutely. So we partner with um, homeless and transitional living facilities, not only here in Dallas, Fort Worth, but actually around the country. Wow. And every single month we have birthday enthusiasts. That's what we like to call our volunteers. Uh, we have birthday enthusiasts join us and help us host these one hour celebrations. We celebrate all the kids that have a birthday that month. Okay. And then in the, each of these birthday birthday children receives a badge that says my birthday rocks. They get a <laughs> gift that's just for them and a cake and a candle, of course, to make a wish um, and blow out their candles at the end of the night. So in addition to that, we invite all the other family members and kids that are staying at the agency to participate in the party. We believe in building community right there within those four walls. So we set up a big birthday party. It's always a big themed bash, superheroes or monster mashes. We have thankful parties. You 
name it, we've probably done it. We have um, a one hour celebration and at the end, my favorite part, is we get to line up all of our birthday kids and we call them by name. Oh. And as we call them by name, the room erupts in cheering and everyone goes crazy and we sing happy birthday and then the children get to blow out the candles on their cake and open their presents. Each child has their moment. That's Absolutely. Beautiful. You know, I would imagine that you've been doing this for a very long time now. You've met some incredible kids, children who have probably touched your heart, who have probably really left a mark. And you mentioned candles. I understand among the many children you've met, there was one little girl in particular who didn't even understand how birthday candles work. Tell us about her. That's right. So we have the privilege of celebrating children that are fleeing domestic violence. And in this particular situation, it was a summer party, and um, there are children running around, and as it's time to get everybody together to celebrate their birthdays, a four-year-old little girl comes over to her cake, and she kind of looks at it a little uh, she just couldn't figure it all out. And you could tell that she wasn't sure what to do next. So in the background, her mom is standing in the corner. And right over here is one of our birthday enthusiasts. And she sees this little girl struggling in the moment. And so she walks over to the little girl and she says, this is a candle. And you get to blow out this candle and make a wish. And what we realized is as her mother is sobbing in the corner and I'm watching all of this unfold, later I have a chance to interact with them and she said, mommy, they had me blow out a fire stick. <laughs> like she had no idea what a candle was. Wow. There are four children in that family and they were living under such oppression that they actually had never experienced any celebration, let alone their birthday celebration. And I'm so proud of the work that we do and when we partner with agencies like Genesis is that we actually celebrated all four of her children's birthdays and she made a commitment that she would continue to celebrate them from then on out. I mean, that's awesome because the concept of a birthday party it's something that a lot of us take for granted, something many of us celebrate every year. Some of us don't want to celebrate it <laughs> as they keep getting older. But I mean, a four-year-old who just doesn't understand that, but you were able to open her eyes to something new and amazing. And I'm sure she remembered that. So kudos to you for that. And, you know, just speaking of the problem of homelessness, this is something that really affects the Dallas community. In fact, any given night, if you go out on the streets of Dallas, you can find a couple thousand people, thousand people sleeping on the streets, and there are estimates that within the Dallas school system, there are some 3,000 children yes. who don't have a steady home. That's correct. So, I mean, this just gives you an idea of how big of a problem this is, but also the impact that you're having. Let's talk about what these parties are doing for these children. You know, if you think about it, hearing these statistics, you realize that homelessness looks a lot of different ways. It's very easy for us to attach a stigma to homelessness, right? Um, we've heard that before. Oh, they're drug addicts, they're lazy, they don't care. What we have found is that is completely opposite. There are families that are truly doing everything that they can every single day to better their situation. And as a child, between the ages of one and 18 that we celebrate, imagine being bounced around from couch to couch, from school to school. I think in those moments of shuffling and this probably the sense of burden that their families feel, it's very easy to get lost, right? It's very easy to just go through the motions of a day. And so what I hope that we do at the Birthday Party Project is that we allow them a chance to feel seen and to be heard, to let them know that regardless of where they sleep, regardless of what school they'll end up next, regardless of what their parent situation is, that we give them a glimpse of joy. And in those moments of joy, I feel like that is where we see and understand what is possible. And so I think that that is what I love so much about our parties, is that we get a chance to just pause for a moment throughout the, you know, the nuances of our days, and we all get to come together to realize what's possible. I think it's pretty clear in the video that we saw before that that's certainly happening. So much so, you're going beyond birthday parties now. I mean, you started here in Dallas. Now you're in 15 cities across the country. Congratulations. Thank you. Really growing Thank you. here. That, Thank that's you. amazing. Thank you. Thank Definitely you. deserves a round of the applause. The power of people. The power <laughs> of people. It's amazing. And beyond parties, I understand you're actually helping a young man go to college. In fact, we saw him in the video. His name is Taurus. He's 18 years old. What inspired you to get involved in his life in that way? Exceptional human being, that Taurus. You know, what's so great about this is it actually wasn't 
me, it wasn't my team that recognized his potential. It was one of our volunteers that saw something in Taurus. And I, that's what I love so much about what we do, this opportunity to connect with one another. And she connected with him and understood that not only was he the oldest of three boys living in the shelter with his dad, his dad was educated, an astrophysicist by trade. Oh, wow. um, he was actually, his mom left them and his dad suffers depression. It was a very difficult situation for them. As he says, we've had a lot and we've had very little, and I know that this is a season for us. So here is Taurus. At the age of 18, we give him a gift card, and he says, I'm going to use this toward my books at the community college. I just enrolled. I'm taking two classes. That's what I can work to afford right now, and this is what I'm going to use for my classes. So our volunteers clued into that and said, we have to what else can we do? <laughs> and if you bring something like that to our team, our team is going to mama bear him all the way around. So we went back to Taurus and see, we said, Taurus, we want to support you taking classes at, in, you know, at El Centro. How can we help? We gave him a calculator and mechanical pencils. And let me say, we gave him mechanical pencils first. And he opens the box and he takes one out and he gives the box back. Oh. We said, no, 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 Taurus, this entire box is for you. And in that moment, I realized he was so special and, and that he really was going to take to heart any of the gifts that we were able to give to him. So we just rallied our troops. I'm telling you, I really do believe in the power of people. And this is a prime example of people using their gifts and their talents and their resources in ways that they may not have imagined to be able to support someone that needs it so much. Wow. So you're nurturing their hearts and their spirits and now their minds, allowing them to continue their education. Incredible. That's Incredible. Wonderful. You know, I mean, for someone to come up with an idea like the birthday party project and then to actually execute it, two very different things. So big kudos to you, Thank Paige, you. for actually making it happen and bringing your, your idea, your vision to fruition. And again, congratulations for being this year's mother of invention. Thank Let's you. Paige Thank you so much. Applause. Thank you. And on that note, I'd like to invite somebody else to the stage, uh, Lisa Matarazzo, the Vice President of Vehicle Marketing and Communications at Toyota. Thank you, Alicia. And thank you to Women of, Wor of the World for your long-standing partnership with Toyota and the Mothers of Invention. By working together, our company is honored to have helped women with creativity, inspiration, and a passion for change, improve society, and enrich the lives of others. Our 2017 Dallas Mother of Invention is here with us today, Maxine Tuckman, whose mobility literacy app Caribou is connecting families through reading while building a strong educational foundation for children. At Toyota, our team looks for ways to inspire innovation, whether advancing technology in our fleet of vehicles enhancing safety features, or developing new modes of personal transportation and mobility. This is in part why we embarked on a journey with the Olympic Committee and the Paralympic Committees and launched Toyota's first global initiative, Start Your Impossible. We believe that when you're free to move, anything is possible. The future of mobility is in the hands of those who really want to make society better. And that's why we're so proud to support the Toyota Mothers of Invention. These incredible women are improving lives by solving problems here in Texas and around the globe. And the impact we just heard about from our newest Mother of Invention, Paige Chernull, is truly inspiring. Since 2012, Toyota has honored 22 innovative and courageous Mothers of Invention, and tonight we welcome Paige to the family. So Paige, please join me at the podium, if you will. In recognition of your remarkable work and everything that you have accomplished so far, and for inspiration to continue your work, we're delighted to present you with our Toyota Driving Solutions Grant in the amount of $50,000. Wow. Well, there's that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did you expect that? Congratulations. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Um, we're thrilled to have you as part of the family. You guys and crying too? <laughs> okay. We should have brought tissue. <laughs> we 
we congratulate you. We support you. We're absolutely thrilled to have you as part of our family Thank and you. part of one of the mothers of invention. Thank so, you so let's much. have another round of applause for Paige and the Birthday Party Project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.